U.S. President Joe Biden and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met in Washington on Thursday evening. Ahead of the bilateral meeting, Joe Biden told Zelensky that he would be announcing a new security package for Ukraine. He did not specify the amount and details of the new package. We will stay with you, period, the U.S. leader told his Ukrainian counterpart. Two days ago, I announced a historic donation of air defense equipment to Ukraine. Today I am proud to announce a new security assistance package for Ukraine. It's the eighth package I've authorized since we've signed the national security bill, Biden said. Stressing that the situation in Ukraine has changed over the past few months, Biden told Zelensky, you made it clear that Russia will not prevail in Ukraine. Ukraine will prevail. And I want you to know that we will be with you every step of the way. Biden also noted that the United States was working with NATO allies to ensure Ukraine flies F 16s this summer and show the world that they stand with Ukraine now and in the future. The two meet on the margins of the NATO summit in Washington. Ahead of the meeting, the Ukrainian leader repeatedly emphasized that his country expected the U.S. to lift restrictions on the use of Western weapons on military targets on Russian territory, Ukrainian media reported. In this conference but welcome again and look uh you know the last few months uh shown that uh, the stories about your demise are not true that you're doing you're, you're holding back and the fact is that uh over the past few months the battle between ukraine has shifted but uh ukraine stopped russia for kharkiv number one and you should be complimented for that number two you blunt at Russia's advances. You've imposed significant cost on Russia, and uh, and you made it clear Russia will not prevail in Ukraine. Will not prevail in Ukraine. Ukraine will prevail, and I want you to know we're going to be with you every step of the way. We'll stay with you. Period. Thank you, press. Thank you. A one-year-old boy was found alive in a ditch, just a few miles from where his four-year-old brother was found dead. The baby survived two days in a ditch off of Interstate 10 East and is doing well. A Louisiana sheriff confirmed this. According to him, Miracle Baby survived two days of sometimes stormy weather before a truck driver spotted him crawling along a roadside. The children's mother, Aaliyah Jack, 25, was found in Mississippi and arrested on charges of failure to report a missing child. Her bond is set at $300,000. After the four-year-old boy was found in the water behind the Louisiana Welcome Center in Vinton, Louisiana, on Monday, deputies put out a bee on the lookout for information. A family member from Mississippi reached out and said she was concerned it may have been her family member. She also told authorities about the missing one-year-old boy. She was located in Mississippi, without the one-year-old, by the Meridian Police Department and taken into custody, the Calcasieu Sheriff's Office said. The search for the baby continued until the trucker reported seeing a baby in a ditch along Interstate 10. When deputies arrived, they were able to positively identify the child as the missing one-year-old, the sheriff's news release said. Calcasieu Parish Sheriff Gary Stitch Guillory said the baby had numerous bug bites but otherwise appeared to be in good condition. Autopsy reports were pending on the four-year-old who was found, Guillory said during news conference in Lake Charles, about 200 miles west of New Orleans. The body had been found in a lake behind an Interstate 10 Welcome Center near the Texas state line, according to Associated Press. We look at this one-year-old as our miracle baby because he was still alive, a visibly moved Guillory said. Hurricane Barrel had struck East Texas early Monday, and the search for the child played out amid bands of intermittent, heavy rain and high wind gusts. This kid spent two days out in the weather on the side of the highway, Guillory said. Thank God that trucker seen him.